Since we can't actually. <laughs> Today, I have to catch a bunch of Dratini. I might have a little trouble with that because I'm here at a reported Dratini nest, but park's closed. On top of the park being closed, we're also hearing reports today that the species of Pokemon found in a specific nest might have changed. Pokemon might be migrating. Since we can't actually get into the park, the plan is to just walk around the perimeter and see if we can find any evidence of a nest here. An Eevee just spawned. It's the only one nearby, but a lot of reports we're hearing is that Pokemon species change by moving to the next basic Pokemon below the Pokemon that used to be there. Does that make sense? So for example, in the case of Dratini, the next basic Pokemon before it in the Pokedex is Eevee. This is far from conclusive, but it's a start. I just wanna know if that is a coughing nest. Sidewalk ended, but the park keeps going, so we're gonna walk a little farther and see if we can find anything else. This is about as far around the park as we can walk. Still no evidence of any nest here at all. Haven't seen another Eevee. Haven't seen multiples of any Pokemon. So we're gonna head back to the car, try to find another nest. We're almost back to the car, and there's another Eevee nearby. Still not conclusive evidence, but it is the first Pokemon we've seen multiples of here at the park. Let's see if we can get close enough to catch it without having to climb this fence. Back at the car, didn't find the Eevee, but at least I did get a fair bit of distance on my eggs from walking around just now. Now we're gonna head to another nest, and if you missed our first video on nests and you wanna find out how to locate nests near you, go ahead and check out the suggested video here. Let's get moving. Today we're doing it Italian job style. Don't forget to check for Pokemon at gas stations. Oh, there's a pincer? Oh my god. This isn't the nest I was talking about. This is Signal Hill in Long Beach, and it was on the way home. I heard it was a Pokemon Go hotspot, so I figured I'd come check it out. And right away, there's three Pokemon here already. Two minutes, four Pokemon. Let's keep moving. Before we go, turns out this is a nest. Seems like a Clefairy nest. Got one. I'm interested to see if this is reported as a Clefairy nest, or if it's been reported as something else. The idea of nests changing isn't entirely new to me. During the beta, I was at Pan Pacific Park in LA, and I witnessed it change from a horsey nest to a Paris nest. It was overrun with horsies when I got there, and two hours later, it was overrun with Paris, and there were no more horsies to be found. At the time, I thought it was just maybe a rotating spawn and that it changed every couple hours, but it could have been part of a larger migration. All right, I brought you guys back to Southgate Park, which if you remember from the first nest video was a Scyther nest at that time. We're gonna find out what's going on here today, but first things first, there's a Raichu nearby, so we're gonna go find that. Okay, that didn't take long. <laughs> it's right here. Bam. 411. 411. What'd you use? Just a regular Pokeball and Raspberry. Just a Pokeball? I'm gonna try just a no, Pokeball. No, but you gotta get the Raspberry. I did. <laughs> it doesn't like me. It doesn't like me the way it likes you. I'm gonna go Great Ball. Wow. 
Oh my god, I missed. Twice. I missed. I missed with two ultra balls. Right, you, you want me to do please. It? You want me to do it with you? I do it with care. <laughs> do it. Do it. Let's see. <laughs> No. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm running low on Pokeballs here. No! Got it! Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I have two. One Great Ball, one Pokeball. Did you miss? I missed horribly. This is my last try. I'm not even gonna look. Cool. Okay, how about you run Bye. and go to the Poké Stop? Oh, it's gone. Thank you. Well, at least you got it. The theory is that nests are changing by going back to the previous basic Pokémon in the Pokédex. Before Scyther is Mr. Mime, but we know Mr. Mime has only been seen in Europe so far, so I'm not going to be able to get it here in North America. Before Mr. Mime is Staryu, and there's three Staryu nearby. So I think that confirms it. Southgate Park is now a Staryu nest. Of course, that doesn't do me any good because I just used all my Pokeballs trying to catch that Raichu. So, Pokestops first. Well, I've been to one Pokestop, and I picked up two Pokeballs, and there's two Staryus. So, what are the chances I catch each of them first try? Let's find out. That's one. Let's try another one. One out of two is not bad. I'm gonna go hit some more Pokestops. All right, I have three eggs hatching. They're all two kilometer eggs, which is usually the weak Pokemon, but there's a chance that they could be starters. And if you remember, eggs will give you Pokemon with higher IVs. So, this could be good. Caterpie. Not that good. Magikarp. That's okay. I might have a high IV Magikarp. So I can get a dank Gyarados. So, this tank is a Pokestop. Does it give me Pokeballs? Two Great Balls and an Ultra Ball. And maybe I can catch another Staryu now. Three. Alright, that's two Staryus. In case you were doubting it. More star you. Okay, we're gonna head to one more nest, and I'm interested to see what happens here because it used to be a Bulbasaur nest. If everything's moving down in the Pokédex, Bulbasaur's number one, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. Let's find out. All right, we're here, golf course, which used to be a Bulbasaur nest, and let's see what's going on now, besides all these Rattatas. I can't tell yet. Looks like very normal stuff. I'm gonna walk out towards the golf course and see what's going on. You want me to hit balls? No. Can I help you guys with something? Can I play Pokemon? We actually have um, a new city law in. If you're actually out here doing it, you're technically trespassing. Oh, really? So we've had probably about a dozen people arrested here this week. For actually arrested? Yeah. because You they, guys went that far. Uh, we didn't, but we've had people hop the fence over here okay. and the residents okay. called the police. I wish there was a way to make it all work for you guys, but... They probably could have been smarter about where they put things. And that's what but. I saw today is they're actually, they're going to create something where we can remove it. Yeah. I understand there's like a, it's like a hot spot here. Yeah. Thank City you. City property, so... <laughs> See, like I got people going on the back nine, so... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's all good. Okay, that's crazy that people have been arrested for <laughs> trespassing here. But there is one Bulbasaur, so it seems like maybe this is still a Bulbasaur nest. I was kind of hoping it would go back to the end of the Pokedex, which is Dratini. So I could still get the Dratinis that I wanted to get at the beginning of the day. But it looks like Bulbasaur nests haven't changed. There is that Bulbasaur park in Irvine, which we should probably go investigate at some point. I'm back at the lab now where I've been going over some reports online and they seem to be confirming what we saw today. Dratini nests are becoming Eevee nests, Scyther nests are becoming Staryu nests, Bulbasaur nests are largely staying the same, 
Clefairy nests are becoming Nidoran nests, and interestingly, when we were at Signal Hill, I noticed that there were a lot of Nidoran alongside the Clefairy. A lot of reports have said that some nests aren't undergoing complete changes, but rather they're seeing two types of Pokemon spawning there. So this could be what was happening in Signal Hill. There don't seem to be any hard and fast rules to the changes so far. Nests are generally changing to a Pokemon lower in the Pokedex than the previous Pokemon that spawned there, but not all nests are changing. It seems like a lot of starter Pokemon nests have stayed the same, and nothing is changing to Dratini nests as far as we can tell. But people have reported new Dratini nests in areas where there were no nests before. This might be something that happens fairly often, so a lot of the nest maps might fall behind, but I'll go ahead and link to a few of them in the description if you want to check them out. Along with today's nest changes, we saw a big overhaul to moves and their damage output, so a lot's changed in the battle system. We're going to be covering that tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Any one of these sculptures or installations could have made a great Pokestop. For a little while, Niantic added a support page where users could request new Pokestops, and we know that a few people reported new Pokestops showing up in rural areas when the game first came out. That support page is gone now, and it seems like they're not taking any more requests, but hopefully once they get some of the server issues worked out, they'll open it up again so that you guys can start submitting stuff like this and get some Pokestops near you.